Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today in this video, we gonna build one custom text field uh, with feature to jump between, uh, actually focus between uh, text fields, also calling keyboard and uh, change keyboard depend of the type of um, text field. And we do all of this with uh, Swift UI. So first of all, I'm gonna just show a demo I show you a demo you will see it's going to be like this so first name we can type and then we can go to next then type last name and then we can go to age and you will see switch to the numbers and uh, yeah numbers and uh, job for example and uh, it goes back you know as a circle to all of this that's all we do today and yeah let's jump and make it this okay so to build this I say file new uh, project yes app and I name it custom text field And yeah, I create this by the name of custom text field. So what I need, uh, first of all, I uh, need, uh, uh, you know, I have content view. So here inside my com content view, I put one uh, we stack. So uh, with vertical stack and inside this, I'm gonna, uh, to do add custom text fields okay so to do this uh, I'm gonna build uh, my custom text field and uh, I'm gonna create one file uh, Swift and I name it custom text field yes and because I have cut the uh, custom text field app that's okay so uh, custom text field I name it and it's created this for me uh, so I need to import Swift UI and then I'm gonna make one struct name of this struct I name it custom text field and from uh, conform it with view okay yeah okay so here inside uh, I start to make my you know property so I say ID uh, from type of string then I create yeah I create label from type of string then I make value again from type of this time binding a string because it's gonna be input and output and uh, gonna change uh, double sign in say you know because uh, we want to use this uh, with uh, property wrapper uh, to show it in uh, in view so I make text also uh, from type of string and I make uh, my text font so we can guess that this should be font yes and I make my text color this gonna be from type of color also I make my uh, background color this gonna be from type of color and I'm gonna make my 
that's gonna be bit of uh, uh, text field, custom text field. So yes, and we gonna make height. This gonna be CG float as well, like width. And what else? Uh, yes, I need to create one variable by the name of focus. Mm, yeah, let's do it by this way. Focus field and this gonna be type of focus state and inside I'm gonna say by fields so what I need to do now I need to create this also I make this to be optional and also it should be binding I believe I should say dot binding yeah okay so uh, later I'm gonna build uh, this uh, focus uh, actually this field uh, as an enum so uh, and I said let this field from type of this kind of say which which field is focused from type I mean by type of enums uh, uh, by the name of this field from type of fields I'm gonna build fields just quickly right now. So uh, character limits. Say maximum number of limits of the characters. We gonna uh, this gonna be to do. Uh, I'm gonna not gonna make a limit right now, but we can improve this by. Yeah, make this effective so uh, keyboard we're gonna be keyboard type gonna be another importance which I say from type of UI keyboard type okay so uh, so let me jump and uh, clear create fields and then I'll come and do the rest so uh, here I make my fields uh, I just create an enum and I name it fields and I say yeah this confirm with int and case iteratable let's see uh, what is the case iteratable a type uh, that provide a collection of all of its value okay so uh, here what I just say okay I just say yeah my case one gonna be first name my second case gonna be last name third case which I say age and last case gonna be job okay so now this should be fine yeah these two okay so now I'll go back and I uh, try to create uh, you know my init for this struct so I just say okay for in this struct I start with my init uh, which I uh, of course I start with ID uh, just ID with type of string I give it a notified value I should always give it value 
and I'm just say label from type of string I just say default value empty and then value from type of binding a string without value so we just get value from outside and then <coughs> excuse me text uh, from type of uh, a string this one also I give it no value just in case we want to just uh, we start with no value so and then text font uh, just say gonna be font and uh, as a value I uh, just give it system size yes and the size I just say okay 20 uh, to be default <coughs> excuse me okay so after text font I'll jump to text uh, color from type of color and I give it uh, default value color dot black background color I give it color I just say color dot blue and so text color background color okay with uh, cg float let's give it a mm, yeah default value i'm gonna give it a default value for example 200 but let's give it 400 400 because i want to call this in uh, here I go for it for at this I, I want to call this inside one iPad so and then height uh, from type of again CG float and default value I'm gonna say 60 and after high what else yeah focus field from type of focus state yeah focus state and this gonna be from type of we can make this generic and pass this uh, field uh, but uh, I want to do this make this short so I uh, for now I just take it in easy as easy as possible so this field uh, from type of fields and I give it default value dot first name and character limit um, from type of int I just say okay maximum 10 and the last one gonna be uh, keyboard type uh, so from type of UI keyboard type and by default I make it ASCII okay so now for this init I need to put one body and inside this body I, I'm gonna give value to all of this so I just say self dot ID equal ID yeah should be something like this yeah so uh, I want to do this for all of them so let me call this maybe this gonna be faster I'm not sure but I try to do it so I just say okay control C and here I'm just say okay this 
for you yeah so for this one i want to replace this with this oops Okay, so I'm gonna be control C. I want to replace this uh, with self. So replace all of this. And for this one, gonna be equal. 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 We use same name and in it as uh, them, so it's gonna be themselves. That's all we need to do. Some of them has default values, some of them don't. So. So focus text fields are valuable, yes. Echo itself. And uh, I'm gonna use this format more and more and uh, we will make more customized. Okay, so this is gonna be our, um, you know, our uh, in it for this and now I'm gonna make more my body of a struct which is a view so valuable body yeah type of view and so what I put here I put one view stack and uh, here I just give it uh, spacing And inside this, I start with one text. So this text is gonna be lab my label. And then for this text, I'm gonna say, okay, font. Font, uh, I am gonna use text. Oh, actually this one, is gonna be label uh, font. Uh, I don't have label font, so I use the same text font or I can, put uh, something you know I could I could, could add it uh, you know uh, you know font for but I'm gonna go by same uh, text font we can add uh, you know label font as well so uh, the second one gonna be foreground color foreground color gonna be you know I'm gonna I need to pass this color uh, you know I'm gonna use different color uh, for you to see and then uh, you know we can pass it as a parameter as well uh, then it's about the frame yeah so for which I just say uh, you know uh, here dot infinity but I am gonna make this max right and for high I'm not gonna pass anything and I just need alignment so for alignment I just say leading okay after this uh, i'm gonna go by adding padding so what i do padding i just say for my leading i just give for example 12 padding okay now here i just put my text fill so my text build what need is need to start you know text build gonna be you know like this uh, 
uh, title and uh, you know localize the string and also binding text so I go by this so for type you know this one is start from empty and uh, for text I put my value which should be binding uh, okay and for this one now we make uh, our uh, thing so focus is gonna be the first one so we just say focused for what so focus by our focus field yes which equal equal what equals this equals this field okay and then it's about the keyboard we have keyboard type yes and it's about the uh, yeah we can add on receive so when we receive something what we want to do so on receive we can say value dot wrap value dot publisher dot collect okay and then for perform I'm gonna say okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say okay let's a string of yeah here you know I have two options you will see here that we have we can put variable then I can call that variable I can, I can remove this and here directly I just use you know I can use this publisher you know one name here and you call that name or I can say okay pick up the first one so I use this one otherwise I want to show you this one as well so I just say yes perfect perfect character limit so by this way we add character limits which already and also I'm gonna remove this because I use dollar uh, zero other than that I could use that one. and here I just say if my value dot wrapper value not equal with s actually sorry here yeah not liquor equal with s let, let me make this str to avoid yeah not equal str what we gonna do now we gonna say okay my value dot wrapper value equal str so this gonna do a value uh, handling for us and also i am gonna add this value should be small v. okay now i'm gonna add okay on submit so when we submit what we want to do on submit i want you to focus next field mm -hmm. okay so you may say what is focus next field yeah yeah we need to make it so uh let's jump and make that one uh which is I make it in this way I just say one extension for my custom text field okay 
and here uh, I just uh, create I just say okay private function by the name of focus pre use Build. so I'm gonna make one for previews one for next and one for can focus and one for um, uh, you know can focus next field can focus, uh, focus uh, previous and can focus next field so let me create these functions and then I'm gonna go for definition so focus previews focus next and here I just say can focus in previous and can focus next field uh, implement this uh, function so can focus uh, previous field so what I say here I just say okay on my focus field uh, pick up my wrapped value and then make it equal with focus field dot wrapped value dot map so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna map this by what so I you know what I make it by this way let me see if I enter and this nothing happens so yeah uh, so I'm gonna do it by this way I don't want to use uh, you know field and then call it I'll use uh, dollar zero which is the same as uh, we use uh, variable and call it so here I just say okay for fields raw value then here in my map pick up a dollar uh, zero with first argument dot raw value and make this minus one so this is focus previous and if mm, this is not uh, this is the optional value so it's, if it's uh, got to nil pick for me the first one so uh, what was the first one uh, i need to go in my enum and have a look and see uh, here we go mm, first name so if it was not exist jump to actually uh, yeah jump to the last one how come uh, but when it's minus you know it's uh, number is goes uh, out of uh, uh, you know the first one we will jump to the last one Okay, so this is for uh, focus uh, previous, and here I do the same. Let me use same. Yeah, so, oops, sorry. Focus uh, field. Yeah, focus field dot wrap value equal focus field dot wrap value dot map. Yes, and here my fields dot raw value raw value plus one. And again, if we get to out of uh, range we jump to the first name which is the first one okay so uh, this can focus so um, here I use guard to wrap the value uh, so guard let Q rent focus field equal focus field dot wrap value so 
so if uh, my wrap value has value what to do mm, because I use guard I have to use else so I just say yes else if you couldn't do this so filled fields raw value fields raw value if it's else, no, no, uh, no, I'm not gonna go for filter. If it was else, I can add, uh, you know, actually, I return false. Even if you like, you can add one printing console to give more info. And if this, uh, there were no value for that, for me, return. Current focus field, which I, I just got it to raw value plus bigger than zero. So if you couldn't get a value, return false. And if you uh, could, yeah, so now I, here I see that uh, uh, I forgot to put boolean here. So yeah, I have to do same for this one. And here I use one guard. Let current focus field. equal focus field dot wrapped value uh, if you couldn't return false for me this is uh, you know wrapping value of you can use if let as well if let uh, equal as well mm, up to you you know handling mm, optional is totally up to you how you like it and you feel more comfortable it's not you think if you use guard is better or not okay so if this uh, for uh, this one uh, I, I just say if you couldn't then current uh, raw value uh, because now in this one we go for next so I just say okay if it is smaller then fields dot all cases dot count minus one then we can go to the next if we went if it was not bigger than one to the uh, you know next okay uh, so yeah this is uh, uh, our extensions uh, let me go and here I just saw some error here I'm gonna to fix them the first one is prefix I think I yeah yes it's gonna be like this also this one cannot since CG flow to CG font oh so here yes this should be CG floats not fonts CG float so we almost done here I believe no 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 I have something else to do so here Mm, yeah, I need to. Yeah, you see that here. I said you didn't use this. Why you use it? I can make it as a variable. So here in my submit, I'm gonna uh, uh, work with that. So here I say, okay, on submit, uh, what I want to do, I want to do focus next. focus next field so let's see focus next field yes focus uh, next field uh, if submit 
and uh, here I just do some uh, you know customization so I just say okay border clear I don't want to border be visible and uh, here about font I use that uh, system font size uh, 16 actually yeah, I can use this is this font is for my text field so maybe I can use this font size as well yeah text font I can use this if you want to play with that you can minus two or plus two and um, okay if I use this then I don't need to use system font uh, I can directly put it here that you know even I don't need that okay uh, so this is for font and uh, text input text input auto capitalization yes I put uh, I just use it to give you idea you know you can use all of this and this should have that and uh, that disable do you want to make it disable uh, actually not disable disable auto correction no, I don't want to do auto correction If you want you can add I just want to give you you know what options you have and uh, here text case so uh, text case I uh, just say uppercase and keyboard type okay this is the uh, important part keyboard type I passed it so I use it here now so here uh, you know from outside I can say okay this type I want to be uh, numeric or whatever and uh, dot ignore safe area for this one I'm honestly I'm not really uh, experienced but uh, if you have uh, any knowledge any experience please share it with us in comments below and I give it padding because uh, this uh, acre is going to be very important parameter okay for padding for leading I give uh, 12 and also I add padding for trailing 12 what else you want you can do and okay and then after this I put one rectangle so I put one, one rectangle and I just say from top six and for this I use frame for frame I just say okay it's gonna be you know this is the number uh, we can use uh, so Nah, I don't have idea which number I use here for now I use uh, some static number then uh, we later we can play with it so 163 I believe maybe let me use uh, with uh, that we get, have uh, from uh, here okay so rectangle oh this dot top shouldn't be here Yeah, let me for rectangle. No, yeah, sorry. I uh, just make this a little bit complicated for you. Sorry. So for rectangle, I put one frame, and for this frame, no height. 
as I know it's uh, four high I just say one so this is uh, gonna be one line under my you know text field and uh, so alignment I just don't say anything and uh, what else uh, for this rectangle like, color or for that so for ground color I uh, just say gray and so I add one frame as uh, another frame this one for max width so M should be a small yeah for max width I use dot in finite you can use this max field uh, in the same first frame uh, we use but I want to you will see that we can use this one uh, like this as well so now so this is gonna be end of my we stack uh, so here now I put my uh, pad, you know padding on top of this and for frame uh, I use width and uh, for height I use Right, and alignment I uh, just say leading and yes yeah, so for background color I use my background color here DG color okay so maybe for this one for ground gray i use gray uh, because i don't have it there okay so um, uh, i think i'm done with this uh, custom text field that i made uh, i have to uh, keep getting the focus uh, field here uh, not used so level later i'm gonna figure this out but i get a one error here as well so initializer yeah, i think because of this focus field yeah focus field focus field yeah so i have id label value text Uh, label value text text font text color dg color with height and focus text field uh, self dot oh here we go why oh, yeah, it's variable it should be self yes uh, self that focus top field yes uh, so i think this two should go yes uh, we are good now okay uh, so now i jump to my content and uh, here i'm gonna call this so easy part gonna be like this so you will have this uh, you can make embed and improve it and then you just in your content field you add this file to your uh, uh, you know shared uh, views and uh, then here you can use uh, your build your uh, content so here uh what i do for content i uh, put one vstack i already put there now here i use my custom text uh, field so for this custom tell field uh, i need to have this variable i don't want to uh, use all of them let me use like this so now let me sort them out so for id uh, i just put first name for label, I put first name for value. Uh, for value, uh, I need to mm, define this value here. So where I'm gonna define it here, mm, I just say mm, at sign state. State valuable by the name of first name 
from type of a string equal mm, empty we can give it pre uh, you know uh, value as well mm, default value as well so variable last name and type of a string equal nothing and mm, yes again state variable age from type of string equal nothing and last one state variable job from type of a string equal empty but here I add one more one this one is focus state so this is wrap value for my focus to know which focus um, I am on so I uh, make this private and uh, yes the variable by the name of focus field from type of fields that uh, we just define and may make it optional okay so now here uh, for my value mm, uh, type yes and uh, it should be a capital s okay so for my value here i use my mm, first name here for text uh, i'm not gonna use text here mm, uh, and text font I use default value that I have text color I use default uh, value if you want you can use and change it in background color uh, and then jump uh, width so for width uh, I give for example 200 and uh, for high I use uh, for example 60 focus field uh, for focus field I use same focus field that I just defined on top so dollar uh, focus field and this field uh, yeah it's that first name and then character uh, limit you want to give let's let give uh, some character a limit here for example 30 and then keyboard type first name gonna be could be ASCII you know these are all options that you have ASCII all, uh, you know uh, numbers and you know function and default number pad and whatever so here look and uh, yeah and so this is the first uh, custom text field so i'm gonna copy from this and make one two three oh, okay the second one gonna be for last name okay last name id and here gonna be last name uh numbers yeah this one gonna be dollar last name and focus will gonna be that one but this one gonna be last name and yeah ASCII and the second one actually third one gonna be age uh, and job so age gonna be number so I here I use age and here I use age and dollar age yeah age and this one job yes and this one job 
and yeah ASCII but this one uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it numbers number path okay so yeah I think we are at the point we can run this so uh, let me say uh, I want this on iPad 11 uh, because keyboard not coming on the you know simulator for uh, iPhone mm, so let me run this and see if I am facing with any error or not so no seems that I'm not uh, then you know later uh, we can spend uh, more time and make it more and more uh, customized and user friendly so uh, yeah let's see how gonna be our outputs I'm gonna be make it bigger for you yeah here we go background blue we can see one uh, you know uh, gray line on there it and uh, here we have we can have our keyboard you will see that ignore safe area and just a uh, small gap here which is always in there and here we can start to type so yeah and we can say when you I just say uh, return gonna jump to the next one return and yeah job and then I, I return back it's gonna come here uh, so we can play with the colors here and to make it better or even width or something else uh, that make this more friendly also this one I would like to be next uh, not reacher changes uh, I can come here yeah, let, let's uh, first of all I change the name of uh, that uh, you know return button so here I just say submit label here I can say done or I can say next yes so I make it next and also here I just say text color I use here I just say black uh, yeah let's uh, keep it black and here where I use this text color here uh, text color here I put gray which is steady I can use text color here you know for that under uh, you know we can go under uh, line that we use so um, I just add uh, one um, thing here uh, I name it uh, under line color oh I have it help me to type it under line color so uh here uh, you know after background color i can put it so here i just say let's underline color type of color and here i just say underline color type of color in my in it and I give it uh, color dot yellow for example okay and uh, here underline color equal underline color but you know to make it uh, you know in order I do it in this way and here I need to add this and uh, here here I'm gonna use my underline co color Mm, so I do not pass it so it's gonna be yellow that one uh, and so uh, I think uh, um, now I did all changes that I want you can move, improve this of course there's a lot of way to improve it please improve it share it with us in um, behind so here uh, you'll see oh, I, ch I changed the um, you know labels mm, yeah now let me let me do some more uh, here I uh, make this one of them 300 the other so 300 300 300 
and 300 so all gonna be same but you know uh, for text color uh, I'm gonna add so where text color sitting if I put it wrong it's gonna help me to uh, do it I believe gonna be here so text Call up so text uh, color. Uh, just say color dot yellow. For first name and the last name, I use that one. Oh, here we go. It's helped me to correct it. So it's uh, text color should be where should be is it correct after value yes after value so yeah use same for this one and for age i use for example white and yeah for this one i keep keep it so let me run it again so yeah, uh, I wouldn't want uh, to make this uh, video longer. So yeah, that's uh, all uh, for today. I hope you like this video. Uh, please, if you have any idea, any uh, comment, anything, share it with us in comment below. And uh, yeah, don't forget to be subscribe and uh, like this if you like it. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.